So now we go to the final segment and Shivani introduces Jack Perry, who comes out, no music, and the crowd is starting to sing, oh, cry me a river. And Perry just takes the microphone, points it to the crowd and says he's had some of the best nights of his life here in Jacksonville. But tonight he has business to handle and he wants to do it face to face with Tony Khan. And out comes Tony Khan. There's some light chance of he's a scapegoat. And Perry says AEW has changed the world over the last five years. And we haven't always seen eye to eye, Tony. But all I have ever wanted to do from the bottom of my heart is what is best for AEW. So, Tony, can we just shake hands? Can you reinstate me and can, and we can continue to change the world together? And Tony is, we didn't get the Tony hug, uh, but we did. Well, I, we actually did get the Tony hug, yeah, but did. it started with the, the big handshake and then the hug. And Perry then looks into the camera. And I really like the, the, this detail that it's like, it's the prelude. You know what's coming. And whatever you want to say, like they have not done any kind of angle like this involving Tony Khan before. So Tony gives the look or sorry, Jack gives the look and then drills him with the microphone to the body and the elite run down. What are you doing, Jack? And the bucks pick up Tony each by the wrist and you, the whole crowd is sensing what's about to happen, but Okada steps in. So it's like they're teasing and then taking it away from you. And then finally, they hit Tony with the TK driver and the, there were a lot of cheers for this. Um, they would eventually turn into pretty solid booze by the end of this segment. Um, it was definitely at, at the very least a mixed reaction here of people that were enjoying this and, uh, and seeing Tony get laid out here with a pretty physical I mean, angle. To me, it's a total baby face spot. You know, you're seeing something that is very, very rarely seen. You know, you're getting to see Tony Khan involved in his first physical angle. That alone, I think, is enough. Like, this happens all the time anyway when people, like, you know, do some, like, extended beatdowns for heel turns. They get cheered. Um, you're, you're not just beating Tony Khan up. You're doing the TK tr driver on him. You know, you're doing the Meltzer driver on him, which is a s spectacular babyface friendly maneuver anyway. Um, so to me, like, I, I don't know if they were surprised by a babyface reaction, nor do I think they are all that concerned by it. Yeah. So, I mean, Tony Khan is laid out. Tony Khan is dead. He is down on his back. And then after this, you have a bunch of the talent and staff running down, including the on-screen appearance of Shad Khan. The week of the draft. And he's doing his first wrestling angle. Yeah, that's it. He's here. You he's know, here. it's real. You know, oh, it's real when dad. There is no up. I don't need a. A promo from Tony Khan reacting to this. I want a promo from Shad Khan. Mm -hmm. I would. I think this man is maybe the the, the performer of the family. Uh, that this I, is I the real fi final boss. Okay. Oh my God! Could you imagine Shad Khan making his AEW debut? Look at this. Yeah. Um, what so, did you think of the angle? Like this was. I mean, this was uh, this was a major angle for for them to do, and I yeah. I purposely avoided seeing any reaction to it online because I'm mm. certain that there's going to be um, tons of negativity towards it. I think the negativity will stem from the idea: is this the is this the opening of the door that cannot be closed of Tony Khan now performer um, as mm. well, which I think would long term not be a, a great idea. But I I thought this was like a Effective angle just in the sense of making the elite into this group that you're at least you're, you're intrigued by and and where where this goes uh, from from here. I'll agree there. You know, let's just maybe start off with that. I thought this was like a really good way of just announcing to the world. This is sort of like your first time seeing the full version of this ver this version of the elite you know that they threw up the four i think on sunday so like kind of like your new four four horsemen and just seeing this scene and seeing the four of them together i really like them together you know the bucks are almost like always like they're, they're your great tag team you know they're like you know arn and tolly like they're they're always just great to have as part of the faction but then you have okada um who i think is okada is like, jack perry Oli? 
Jack Perry, I think, is flair in this, okay? Or at oh, least, okay. like, he, they're trying to... Okay, maybe that's just a too too far of a stretch. But, like, yeah. okay, if we're talking evolution, Jack Perry is Randy Orton. You know, he's the guy who's oh. coming up that um, um, will someday be the main eventer. Um, but because, like, he is the single star of the group and he's the one who can cut the promo, um, he's going to benefit the most, I think, from this association and from this spotlight. Um, you know, Okada's the guy that you kind of rely on almost as your heavy, you know? Like, he's the guy who's unbeatable, who delivers versus great matches but the guy doing most like hope probably gonna who's gonna take most of the airtime will probably be jack perry and all of this so as just like an, an announcement of a new faction i thought this was very effective for me if there's going to be criticism it's probably in maybe how campy a lot of this ended up feeling like i think the, the you're already kind of tempting fate by having a non-actor non-wrestler do something physical and like the, the the act was simple enough initially it was like jack perry gut punching tony tony doesn't have to do much but like lay down turnover which he did a decently fine job of but then to have to come out tease the evb trigger have tony like be like no no okay you guys are here to save me oh no like all that was definitely pushing it the moment they decided to do a Meltzer driver to him was like when you just kind of had to laugh at it and they just completely veered off into the course of this just like you know this is kind of funny right um not to mention how late everybody else was the entire locker room for whatever reason had to wait five minutes before they could come out to save tony um that's just like where your mileage may vary depending on how 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 much realism you expect out of professional wrestling if you're just watching this like for fun and for overall effect of like this announcement of a new group showing up i thought it was effective and i think i, I lean more towards that like overall how beneficial was this in introducing jack perry um and, and this new group and i thought it was it was decently effective yeah, I think that, I mean, again, all of this stuff with the security footage, with this angle, all of it is going to be judged based on where Jack Perry is in six months. I think that's that's the only kind of barometer you can look at. I, I don't look at this as an angle that's going to, uh, um, no, th this isn't a reunion arena on Christmas night, 1982. This is, um, even though this is kind of what that was designed to be, like this massive angle for them. I don't know if that is what it will mean, unless unless we, we get, you know, Shad Khan, uh, coming out, I I think this guy could be the diamond in the rough. I mean, this guy's got a heated promo in him after his son was just decimated by the TK driver. You his don't grow a mustache like that and not be somewhat like tempted, you know, by 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 this like professional wrestling stuff. Okay, there's a showman in him, I'm sure. Um, look, there, there's some acting here. Like, look look at the concern that he's expressing on his face, you know, and I think doing a decent job of it. So, um. We'll see if we we have another con enter, uh, you know, the professional wrestling landscape here. Uh, there's no limit to the amount of cons. Yeah. So there you go. That was dynamite. Um, obviously, a pretty noteworthy angle at the end. Um, were, you, were you surprised that, um, like, I think we heard a, like one or like few seconds of a CM Punk chant, but like kind of like off in the distance. I I don't think it was any sort of factor for me. I, I didn't but. even I didn't even catch it. So I, mm -hmm. I like I don't doubt that there are going to be punk chants that surround jack perry like it that is the go-to chant the more kind of heelish that he is i think that is going to be a chant that they have that they've opened the door for and have have welcomed at, at this point I, I think those those will exist but but i don't think it necessarily detracts from like even if they were to occur here it's like wwe has dealt with that for years you know of like using having these cm punk rebellion chant and ultimately i don't i don't know if AEW like yeah, whatever. Uh, we've we've talked about <laughs> all of that enough. <laughs>